This is Paula, and I'm about to make my version of some chicken helper. I'm not going to say hamburger helper. I'm going to say chicken helper. Okay, well, I've got my phone situated, so are you guys ready? Okay, so look at what I got going on. I got some noodles going on, okay? And they are about done, okay? And I'm going to end up running some cold water on them, okay? Get my little trusty spoon out, y'all. I'm still looking for me some, um, my wooden spoon, because I got rid of my other ones, because I had to burn them up. Okay, so what I got going on, y'all, I got some chicken. I'm not using ground beef. I'm using chicken. Okay, I'm just going to flash these noodles in a little cold water, okay? That's what I'm doing over here. All right? And y'all know me. I wipe as I go. Just have it, okay? So what I got going on here is some, some bell pepper. Y'all know how I always feel my bell pepper and onion and right here i have some ground chicken guys chicken that's what i said so i'm gonna drop that in there that's some chicken just like how you ground beef that's ground chicken okay and over here i got some cream of chicken all right mm -hmm. okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a little extra virgin olive oil so it won't stick to the the bottom extra virgin olive oil I always tell y'all that's what I'll be cooking with okay we're gonna get this chicken done we're gonna cut this down a little bit all right and what I did was I had steamed the chicken a little bit I had pre-cooked it as you can tell because I try to do it a little quicker so it won't take as long when we're doing the videos because a lot of people don't like to stand by waiting on the videos Okay, so see how that chicken is already hard because I kind of cooked it and steamed it a little bit. And it is ground chicken, guys. Y'all can find it anywhere. Purdue ground chicken. Okay, yes. And we're just going to infuse that in the uh, bell peppers and the onions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little accent. I love accent. Accent has a salty, not salty, but it has a salt texture. That's some white pepper. That's my Tony Sacheries. Y'all know my famous Tony Sacheries. I gotta have it. That's some Creole seasoning. Then I gotta have my cayenne pepper, okay? All right, that's for the spice. We got the cream of chicken, but I'm not gonna add it right now, okay? We got the sharp cheddar. Let me get it opened up. Y'all see the sharp cheddar? And we have the full cheese Mexican style. All right. Now, this is my, my baby wants. This is his version of hamburger helper. So instead of using ground beef all the time, okay, I've got some ground chicken. You can find it anywhere. Okay, look at that. You don't get all it stirred up. Look at that. How beautiful that is. Ground chicken. Mm-hmm. And I'm just kind of breaking it up a little bit because it was already pre-cooked and steamed. But I'm just going to fry it around. And then over here, I know you're probably figuring out, well, what's going on over there in that pot? This is some of those red sausages. My baby Kane loves those. This is some of those red sausages. Let me get a fork so I can show y'all what this is. See that? That's those beautiful red sausages. That's his absolute favorite sausages. So we got those going on. He's gonna eat that on the side. That's gonna kind of like be his little meat to fill him up. So how you guys doing today? All right, I'm doing something simple. This is my chicken helper. Chicken helper. Okay, so we got that fried. So what I'm gonna do is like get some of the water off these noodles. Okay. I had put some cold water on them. So you know what I want you to do? Tut. He's over there playing the game. Tut. Tut. I'm about to act like Bruce Lee in a minute. I know you don't want me to do that. Tut. Give mom some milk. I'm about to do Bruce Lee. Hey, y'all. 
y'all. You don't want me to hi y'all. I know you don't want me to hi y'all. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, guys, now, like I told y'all, that chicken was pre-cooked. I'm gonna let these noodles rip. Okay. This is my mama's old pot, the one I used just a minute ago. And so we got that in there. And what I'm gonna do is. gonna add just a little bit of milk. Hey y'all. <laughs> Not much, just a little bit. It's good. Okay, let's get this party started. I'm gonna pump the fire up, all right? And then what we are gonna do here is we're gonna add this cream of chicken. This is just another way of doing a, a little noodle dish. Tell them to it what you wanted, a noodle dish for the kids. Burger helper, but she's gonna make some way better. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get the rest of this out the can. Just the cream of celery. I'm sorry, cream of chicken. I'm always using cream of celery, y'all. It's stuck in my mind. Okay, so we got the fire pumped up. We're gonna get all that stirred up in there with the bell pepper, the onions, the cream of chicken. Oh, yes. Y'all remind me to get the wooden spoons, okay? All right. So now what we are gonna do is, I'm gonna put some of that four cheese in here. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is, the way this pot is made, I'm gonna bake this in the oven. I'm gonna put this whole pot in the oven. Now this is the sharp cheddar. You can't never have too much cheese, I done told y'all. I took him. You have too much cheese? Heck no. <laughs> Never. Okay. So this is a nice little dish for the kids. For grown-ups too. You can make a nice little salad to go on the side of it. Just something quick, quick and simple. Okay, look at that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it off. Because the cheese is gonna melt. Chicken's already done. The bell peppers, I'm sorry for that sound, is driving me nuts. Woo! Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, we got all that stirred up, and I always put my finger. All right. So this is absolutely delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna take that glove off. I'm gonna add a little bit more Tony. I tell y'all, whoop the seasoning. Don't let the seasoning whoop you. Okay. Now we're gonna get that stirred up. I took the fire and cut it off. Preheat the oven. Okay. And I'm going to put this. I don't want it to dry out. So that's why I cut it off. You're just adding a little milk just to get it bind together. Look at that, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. And the bell peppers and onions is already sauteed. It's going to just enhance the whole dish. And so what I like is with this pot, you can just put it in the oven. And I'm gonna I'm gonna bake this. We're gonna bake that until all the cheese melts on top. Just something quick and simple. And the kids will love it. Okay? And this is enough to last a couple of days. You can do some fruit on the side. You can do the kids a salad. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm covering the whole top. Alright. There we go. And then we're gonna get that in the oven. Yes, and that's it. Quick and simple. Chicken helper. Yes. Just something quick for the kitties. <laughs>